did you come up with the uh, name Tyrannicide? Just by observing <clears throat> bad things um, that happen. It just means to kill oppression, to kill tyranny, like Gaddafi and a bad, like say a bad boss or anyone in power who abuses power means to kill them, which is about the way we feel. Um, how did you get the inspiration for uh, Cripple's Revenge? I didn't write it. I didn't write it. Don't put it on me. Hand down on them. Them's his damn. Anyway, so what's the song about? The song it's about. Okay, there's a band called. I'm not gonna slag anybody here, but there was a band from San Francisco that wrote a song called "Destroy the Handicapped," and I didn't. He didn't have anything to do with it. I wrote the lyrics because I thought it was really tight, because obviously he's got handicap, and uh, it just means that people that with handicaps proving themselves, you know, as they are without having to do, you know just by being themselves and they are great in other areas where other people aren't you know can't do anything so yeah do you think of uh, the word cripple as a derogatory word or do you no not really it depends on who says it like you know if I'm walking around with them and they're you know hey cripple get out of the way or something it's no problem but if some fool that I don't know walks by and says oh look at that crippled guy or something then I might walk by and trip on him on purpose to make him feel better <laughs> you know just yeah. to it's got a lot of shock value. Oh, I see what you mean. It's got a lot of shock value. I mean, but that's what this band's all about. <laughs> and what do you like to write about in your other material? Everything that basically bothers us that we see around. We live in basically a middle class area of California. It's a suburb of San Francisco, and there's a lot of, you get a mix of all kinds of different people. Racism is something that bothers me a lot, and that's the main thing. I mean, that was one of the biggest th things that we kind of key on. and. Um, substance abuse, drinking and driving, um, abusing friendship, abusing relationships and things like that. We don't have, there's no fantasy involved in our lyrics. They're all day-to-day -day things that people can benefit from, hopefully. In um, Hiding Under White, you say that nonviolent change is the only way. Do you have any ideas of how um, we can achieve nonviolent change? Rosa Parks for that. I mean, Rosa Parks, and that's what Martin Luther said, you know, just Education is the best key to solving ignorance, you know. Ignorance is the greatest hindrance to mankind, I think. And ignorance is, you know, obviously it's best alleviated by education. And that's the best nonviolent way of, you know, curing any problem. Yeah. Um, on your demo tape, it uh, has a picture of a KKK member. And behind it, it says, save our children, vote no. Uh, vote no to what? What exactly does that mean? Yeah, that, was a, that was a Klan march in, I can't remember where. Um, it was a picture in Time Magazine of a Klan march, and the Klan was rallying for this guy. It wasn't, it wasn't uh, uh, the guy in Arizona. It was another guy that was uh, going to run for state senator, and the Klan was behind him, and they were you know, marching to prove that they were behind the guy, and people were holding up signs that said, save our children, vote no. In other words, don't vote him into office, and that was basically what it means. It also means it kind of, it's like I said about shock value. People see the clan thing and then they want to read it closer and they read the lyrics that say on the cover of the tape. Hopefully yeah. they'll get the idea. And then it says save our children, vote no. Hopefully that they'll know that. I mean, let's get rid of the clan. It's pro clan too, yeah, which is miss. They, see the, they see the clan man on there. That's just like people who, if I may indulge myself, that's like people who read Playboy magazine with one hand. It's just the same <laughs> mentality. Um. One of your stickers says, don't label me. Do you have a problem with people labeling you? That's why I wrote the song. In a lot of magazines, we get, you know, labeled crossover or metal or punk or whatever or posers, whatever. Labels are stupid. I mean, if people are going to, you know, the, the best way for individuality is just to give everybody an, an open chance. Sometimes names can help, you know, when you label somebody something like, you know, typical speedcore mentality or, you know, crossover or metal or punk, you know, you're just going to group them with a lot of other bands that, you know, they have nothing to do with. But if you were to describe your band, how, what would you call yourself? Alternative music. It's alternative music. I mean, it's an alternative to mainstream. Um, I guess it, it, we have, you know, we listen to a lot of metal. We also listen to a lot of punk. We listen to everything. I mean, we listen to all kinds of music and we don't, we try and not, um, you know, we don't keep only, you know, people that listen to our kind of music too, you know, we hang out with everybody, we try not to alienate anyone with our lyrics, yeah. that's really important to us.